I'm going to show you how to make rosettes on the loom. It's super easy, super fun, and it's a great activity to do with kids. The configuration of the loom is made up of the four corners, so it's the smallest possible setup. And rosettes are just little flowers. The first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot. And you just want to leave a nice long tail at the end. We'll put the slip knot on the contrast colored peg in the corner. Then you just wrap the yarn to the peg on the opposite corner of the loom, all the way back to the starting peg. And then you'll wrap around and wrap the yarn around the peg next to the peg that you just wrapped around on the opposite corner. Now you just continue wrapping like this all the way around the loom until you get back to the contrast colored peg. And once you get to the end, pick up your pair of scissors and cut the yarn and then make a really simple knot with the two ends that are left. I've threaded this tapestry needle and I'm going to start by putting it through one of the rosette loops from the underside of the loom. Pull the yarn up, giving yourself a nice amount of yarn to keep going around. Now I'm going to pull my tapestry needle through the loop in the rosette on the opposite side. Now I'm just going to move in a clockwise motion around the rosette, pulling the needle through the next loop of the rosette, again from the underside of the loom, coming up, and putting the tapestry needle through the rosette loop on the opposite side of the loom. Then I come back under the loom, now on the third peg, and coming back down through the loop on the opposite side. So you just continue this motion all the way around the rosette until you get back to where you started from, which was the contrast peg. Take a pair of scissors and cut the yarn. Turn the loom over. Take the two loose ends of yarn and make a nice tight knot. Now we're ready to take the rosette off the loom. It's really easy. You just pull the loops off. Now you have your finished rosette.